Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my sweet cup carrier. So as you can see, it's a little carrier for those beautiful sweet cups. Now obviously you can fill these with so many goodies, but it's got a little handle as well so that you can carry it um, and give it to somebody. And they could use this little tub for so many different things afterwards. Oh, excuse me, I've just had some water. Um, but yeah, I just thought these are so cute and they're so easy to make and I haven't really used these very much either. Um, so it was the perfect opportunity to make something cute. And I just love this bright multicoloured paper. It's just fantastic, isn't it? So, show you how to make it and they're really quite simple. So to start, oops, start off with, you will need a piece of cardstock that is nine and a quarter by five inches. Uh, which is 24 by 13 centimetres. We are then going to score the short side at three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to turn that round because it's easier, as you know, to score shorter ones this side. And then I'm going to score again at four and a quarter, or you can rotate and score at three quarters that end, but you're going to score at two centimetres and 11 centimetres. Then on the long side we're going to score again at three quarters, then four and a quarter, five, and then eight and a half, which is two, eleven, thirteen and twenty-two centimetres. And then we're going to fold and burnish our score lines and if you've followed any of my videos for a while you will see that this is also the same um, shape stroke um, basic design of my uh, tea light, uh, tea melt holder, um, my card holders, there's just numerous because you all make them exactly the same way. Okay. So I folded and burnished all of my score lines. So the next thing I need to do is add a sheet of DSP to what will be my lid. And so my DSP here is three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches or eight by eight centimeters. And just make sure that you add plenty of adhesive onto this. And you will see why in just a moment. So I'm going to go with this being my lid, so I'm going to pop that on there and then I'm bringing in my layering circle framelits and I'm using the largest of the circles and this is going to sit just inside the DSP and cut that circle out. So bringing in my big shot which just slide that in there, line up my framelit to make sure it's sat in the centre, pop my sandwich on top, hoping that hasn't moved, no, and then we're just going to run this through. So let's just take, whoops, take that away and then as you saw your circle will have come out. So once you've done that part, you've got your circle that you've cut out and obviously your hole in your lid. So bring in your cup, add adhesive to this. So not wasting anything. And stick this onto your cup lid. So there is my cup lid, now decorated with the circle from there, pop that to one side. So now we're going to do some cutting. So where your DSP is and you've cut your lid, these two front corners, bottom left and bottom right, cut away completely along with a little tiny wedge. Okay, so you're left with that. Okay, for the centre ones, 
the score line that runs alongside your DSP we are going to cut wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute yes yeah, sorry we're going to cut down here and then we're going to cut another wedge out of the back of that part okay so cut down cut a wedge okay so that's now how your front piece should look spin it round completely now so that you've got the blank base in front of you and these two bits here we're going to create tabs so we're going to cut straight down and cut our wedges and the same on the other side doesn't matter which way round you do this to be fair and then for these centre ones what we need to do is back with your DSP facing you and that cut that horizontal cut there we're going to cut down the inside score line here and then cut our wedges okay so your tab actually sits facing inwards does that make sense I hope it does so we're just cutting down and creating our wedges and so this is now how your final piece should look okay so we're going to get some adhesive on here what have I done with it there it is so I'm going to go with my wet glue and I'm just adding glue onto the four little tabs and then I'm going to fold this one on the inside just onto there motorbikes going past it's a beautiful day can't say as I blame them and then oops okay so from a previous project I have my huge clothes pegs here so I'm going to use one of these just to hold that in place and likewise with this one use one of my huge clothes pegs to hold it in place there we go same on this one ridiculous oversized pegs on a project <laughs> if you have smaller ones then obviously use them okay so I'm going to leave that to dry just for a moment while I do my handle because that's the easiest part so your handle pretty much is the length of an A4 sheet of cardstock which is roughly one inch by eleven and a half um, which is 2.5 by 29 centimeters and then your handle I've literally used again a 12 by 12 sheet um, and I've just cut it to three quarters of an inch wide which is two centimetres and I've then just run my snail all the way down the length not too concerned about the edges and you will see why in a moment I'm going to lie this on the handle just making sure that it's on all the sides there it's equal and then I'm simply going to trim this excess off either end you see it's not worth measuring it because it's such a small amount and then I've just got my bone folder to just curl this round okay so it's starting to to bend now the way it should be so there's my handle I'm also going to decorate my um, cup whilst I wait for my glue to dry so I've got a tiny bit of ribbon I don't have much of this left actually um, so I'm just going to cut a small length of it to go across the center and I then have some whisper white here and I'm going to go with the same as I did previously actually I've got gorgeous grape and coastal cabana um, sweetest thing stamp set so I'm going to go with the um, lovely frame that again I'm actually going to stamp in gorgeous grape and then my sentiment 
which is sweets for you. I'm going to stamp in Coastal Cabana. Let me just clean that one because of it being quite a dark colour. Sweets for you. There we go. And then with your jar of sweets framelits, you have a beautiful framelit here that will die cut this one out. So I'm actually going to quickly do this off camera so you me messing about with other stuff. So I'm just quickly going to pop this on, line it up and run it through. It's just so much quicker than moving everything off the desk. There we go. So that's just die cut that one out. And then I just needed, where are they? Over there, a couple of dimensionals. I'm having a moment again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I need to go and have a lie down or something. And then, so I've put my dimensionals top and bottom and I'm then going to pop a glue dot either end and one just in the centre. So you can see where I popped those glue dots and those are for my do you know what I'm going to be contraire and go with the granny apple green this time not quite but it'll do and then this will sit on the lid do you know I actually I'd love you to tell me where you found the most randomest places that you found a dimensional backing because I actually found one sticking to the underside of my dog's ear the other day. I said, what have you got in your ear? And I had a look and it was one of the very small um, dimensional backings and it was just underneath her ear. I, I, <laughs> I mean, honestly, how does this happen? I know they get everywhere, but in my dog's ear? Really? <laughs> so, so bizarre. OK, back to our box. And take these ridiculously sized pegs off now that everything is held together. OK, so... Our box is now made up, so now we have to pop our DSP panels on the sides and these are half an inch by one and three quarters or 1.5 centimetres by eight centimetres and I'm just literally popping those on the front, back and sides. I just pop that one on there. Oops. And then that one on there. And then the last one to go on the back. Which will just go on that. I love these jelly bears. I think they're so cute. Okay, so. Obviously now our box generally just closes all together like this and then our sweet cup sits in. But it's not quite that simple because we need to secure this. So opening this back out, I'm going back in with my fabulous tear and tape and I'm going to put it quite close to that score line because I don't want to have much of a gap showing. So on all of these three tabs, just pop some tear and tape. And then for the very last bit, you also need to add some tear and tape to either end of your handle. So I'm not overly bothered about it being straight or covering the whole of it. It's literally just going on the end of the handle. Okay, so I've got a bit there and a bit there. So flip your box the correct way and then take the backing off your handle. And then you can either measure this or eyeball it but pop your handle so flat to the bottom of your box to help keep it straight and 
kind of central as best you can. So your handle's now stuck on. Then on your lid, what I suggest, and I've done this a few times with different projects, start your tear and tape off like this. Just leave a tiny little fold of the protective um, cover off, fold it over so you've got enough to just grip. It doesn't matter which end you choose to do this on. Just as I say, make sure you have enough there. And then we're going to tuck it through the handle, which will go with no problem. And then she says, now it's playing up, look. Right, come on, stop being naughty. Going through. There we go. And then you just literally, heavens above. Come on, what's going on? Right, so all of these pieces are now just going to be tucked inside okay then you're going to pull your tear and tape off your first side make sure it's flat down and then through your little hole in the top you're going to press the inside so that that piece is now stuck and it's nice and neat and just carry on doing the whole bit press it down make sure that it's flat because it will have a habit of riding up press it down and press it together and then you have all of your pieces stuck down. Now normally you would say this was the back but I'm actually using it as the front because that's where there's no join and it's tidy and pretty. So then you can pop your sweet cup in, you've got your handle and then all that's left with my remnant of ribbon here is just to make a pretty bow but obviously you can decorate it whichever way you want. In fact, I was going with the green, wasn't I? So let's do with the green side. Granny apple green, another of my favourites. Okay, just have a little play with the bow for a minute. Tidy it up. Um, I just want to trim those tail ends. And then I'm just going to finally use a glue dot to just... No, I'm going to use a glue dot, thank you. And I've actually just stuck it on the top of the box there as opposed to the side. You can stick your bows and decoration wherever you wish. But there they are, my little sweet cup carriers. Hope you like them. I quite like them. I think they're quite cute and I can't wait to fill them with some goodies. Hope you have a great day guys and don't forget all the products are available to be purchased at the moment when this video goes out um, but not for much longer so get them while you can. Have a great day and I'll see you all again soon.